Staying on the diamond, the Kirksville softball team will start postseason play tomorrow night. They will take on Moberly in the first round of districts. The team split their games this year. Macon has an opening round bye. They will face the winner of the Hannibal Fulton game on Thursday. Macon thinks it has the formula to win it all. I like the fact that we've had good pitching and defense, and I think that's what's going to win this time of year. You know, you just have to pitch well and make plays on defense and just find a way to score some runs. In high school baseball tonight, Atlanta beat La Plata 3-1. In high school volleyball, it's Ottumwa hosting East. The Bulldogs hope Bittner would get the ace on senior night. Fellow senior Andy Kurtz joins in on the fun. Number three would get the kill. The Bulldogs, Ellie Hammock, would hit it hard. And you know what? East had no chance. A tumble gets the sweep. The final number is 25-13, 25-14, and 25-13. In other games, Kirksville lost to Centralia 25-18, 18-25, and 25-12. In college volleyball tomorrow night, Indian Hills will host Iowa Western. It's the team that handed the Warriors its only loss of the year back on September 17th. All the action gets underway at 7 o'clock. In cross country, the Kirksville girls finished third at Centerville. Individually, Erica Woolmering was third. Laura Gaines was 11th. On the boys' side, Duncan Clark was fourth, while Parker Peterson was 21st. Seth Brown of La Plata will defend his state championship in about a month. It all starts with a district meet in Moberly. Ran in Bowling Green the past, my, well, ever since I've We've had cross country, I guess, for the past three years. So, uh, yeah, going from that on my senior year is a little different, but it shouldn't affect everybody too much. It was a great day for tennis as Kirksville hosted sectionals. Kirksville in the near court against Barrow. Rachel Jones would put it away. Audrey Wishman with the big serve, and Jones would do the rest at the net. She was in a zone this afternoon. It was close. But the dynamic duo lost 7-5, seven, 7-6, seven, and 8-6. The Kirksville golf team will head to the state meet next week. The Tigers will send a pair of freshmen, Chloe Pena and Haley Berry, and they plan to take it one shot at a time. I guess we just play every day and just start over and just keep trying to get better as we go along and learn more. I think it's really special for Chloe and I to be the only freshmen and I think it's kind of cool that we're the only freshmen that get to go to state, so I'm excited. In swimming tonight, Atumwa was hosting East on senior night. Fourth year standout Caroline Carlson won the 200 individual medley. Close race in the 50 free. The Bulldogs, Ellen Carlson, just gets touched out. And let's move to the 100 butterfly. Senior Claire Carlson would finish second on the night. It was a close meet. How close? It would end in a tie. The final score tonight was 85 to 85.